my name is Eli Cohen. I'm a medical Qigong practitioner, and I'd like to share with you in this time when there's a lot of scare and panic around with, uh, with, uh, with the new virus, the new super virus that is going around the world. Um, and it's a time I thought to share some of my uh, experience. I worked with a lot of people that suffer from chronic health condition. For years, I've been teaching practices to strengthen the immune system and got a lot of results and a lot of people heal through uh, some practices that are not that hard to do. So I thought, hey, why don't I share with my community, with the community online, uh, three key principles in taking care of your immune system, boosting your immune system, <coughs> so you're more, uh, you cultivate resilience, and strength. So with no further ado, let's go into these uh, three principles. The first one is the breath. Now the breath is very, very important. The breath is how we get oxygen into the bloodstream. If we're breathing deeply, the body can flush out toxins from, from the body. The hormonal system works better. You can digest your food better. So really getting oxygen into your bloodstream <laughs> is highly important. And we're living in an era where everybody's stressed out. And sp certainly now with, with all the scare and the news going around, people are, our level of stress is, is a little higher than normal. And I think this is a good time to kind of revisit of how to breathe in order to get more energy out of the breath. So first of all, you want to know <coughs> that we have a lot of research on, br on breath. And uh, what we found is that when we breathe into the deep area of the lungs, <coughs> and we talk about the deep area of the lung is close to the diaphragm, so on the bottom part of the lungs, there's more oxygen that get in assimilated into the bloodstream. So the breathing should be more into the lower abdomen, side of the belly, and lower back rather than the chest. So lower abdominal breathing will be very important. Now, not just uh, a normal uh, lower abdominal breathing. I'll show you like a technique that is very powerful that I share with my one-on-one -on -one clients, <coughs> medical Qigong, that able to really get much more energy going on and, and heal and get more empowered. So this breathing is you inhale through the nose into the lower abdomen slowly. When you feel like you're in the top of your breath, you hold it and you try to take another ounce and two ounces of breath. And you take another ounce of breath, another, and push and literally inflate the belly, inflate the side of the belly, inflate the lower back as much as you can. So really create a balloon-like with, with the breath. And this is, there's a reason why we breathe like that. It actually creates a chi um, bubble and protects the internal organs, yeah? It's part of a whole practice called Iron Shirt or Golden Shield Qigong. And it's very, very good for your internal organs and increasing the pressure, the qi pressure of your body against the environment. <coughs> so it actually protects you, it boosts your guardian qi. We call it in Chinese the Wei Qi. So you really want to inhale slowly, 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 slowly through the nose. When you reach the top, you hold it and you try to inhale another ounce, another two ounces of breath as much as you can while pushing and pushing the belly out, expanding the lower cavity of the lungs. You also want to work on the rib cage area. That gives that flush out the liver. So <coughs> let's try to get it. Now, how do you exhale? After you inhale and you hold it, you hold the breath for 10 seconds. So after you inhale the top and then you, another ounce another ounce then you hold it at that point and then you release it after 10 seconds of holding at the top you will feel the pressure and your face might get red but this is a way to now how many time you do it now when you release the air you release it slowly through the mouth <laughs> when you exhale through the mouth we already know when we exhale through the mouth you telling your brain that there's no stress. Yeah. So when you exhale through the mouth, there's a release of the energy. Uh, so you don't want to exhale through the nose. You exhale through the mouth. <coughs> yes. And then after you exhale through the mouth all the way, you take 
the air in back, yeah? So you do that for, let's say, 10 breaths. You'll feel after 10 breaths your energy increases, <coughs> your weight chi increases with this inflation of the lower abdomen, with the pushing out and a holding 10 seconds. <coughs> that will increase your lung capacity as well. And always we want to breathe into this area. <laughs> yeah, the fight or flight response, the stress response is shallow through the chest. And if the chest cavity is, doesn't have a lot of capacity like here. So it's very important to train your mind and body to breathe like that. If you inhale and you cannot inflate the belly and you cannot feel how the air goes into the lower back, you really need to work on it. Because when you will be successful, eventually you'll find that you have less colds and have more energy and have more power. So <clears throat> let's, uh, so, so how do you, if you don't feel it, what would you do? If you don't feel it, you have to tap, tap on this whole area. It's called the girdle vessel. Yeah, this is the belt channel in Chinese medicine. This is a reservoir, a reservoir of energy. Yeah, so you have to fill up your reservoir of energy. If the reservoir is full, then all the meridians <coughs> that are a metaphor for a river can have water in the river from the reservoir. <laughs> yeah, so you have to fill up the reservoir of energy in the daimai. And then this is full, has a lot of attention, a lot of love. <coughs> this will open up. So this is the first tip that I want to share with you. There's a lot of other techniques of improving your immune system but this is the first one and there's two more left so let's do just two breaths to show you how that works so inhale let's let's do it together put your hands on the belly or on the side of the belly and then inhale slowly when you got to full now release tension from the shoulder don't breathe up to the chest full 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 push it out hold it at the top now Take another ounce of breath and push up more. Feel the lower back also open up. Another ounce, maybe another two ounces. The most you can and keep it like that, inflated with all the pressure in. 10 seconds. And exhale. Push the navel towards the spine. And again, inhale, slowly. Top. Inhale more. Push out more. Inhale more. Push the belly. Inhale. Open the lower back. Inhale the side of the belly. See where you can press it on. Inhale more. Maybe the rib cage can kind of come, uh, come out. The rib cage can inflate as well and open. And then you're at the top, hold it, and then 10 seconds. So the prescription is 10 breaths like that. <coughs> if you could do 10 breaths like that three times a day, you'll feel the change in your energy. Yeah, so 10 breaths, let's say 10, <coughs> if you're really good, you want to do more, do 30 breaths twice a day. 30 breaths twice a day or 10 breaths three times a day, <coughs> that's good, and you'll see how you feel. The other, the other um, things to uh, increase your immune system is, is the heart, is more of an energetic tip. <coughs> if the first one was more physical, working with the breath, the second is about doing things that you love seeing people that you love, talking to people that you love, going to a hike in an area that you love, think about joy, what makes you happy, and focus on gratitude. Yeah, there's a research shows that when people think about gratitude, when they're grateful for something, the, actually the breath goes deeper. So when, the, when you are grateful for something, the breath goes deeper, yeah, you get more oxygen, the body actually relaxes. There's a release of muscular tension in the body. And you have to uh, understand that when we are tense, when we are stressed out, we hold tension in our body too. Yeah, Think about when you're stressed behind the steering wheel, 
you stress all the muscle tension. Now what the muscle tension, what did they do? When you tense the muscle, what do you need? Oxygen for the muscle. So when you tense the muscle, they take oxygen from you. <laughs> yeah, and we want the oxygen to go into the internal organs to improve our lymphatic system, to improve our hormones, uh, to get into the internal organs. When you hold muscle tension, <laughs> the muscle go the oxygen go to the muscle. So you lose oxygen. So relaxation <laughs> and this goes into the whole principle of qigong and how we heal through a practice of qigong because in qigong we learn to do exercises to move the body in a relaxed way how to release muscular tension not to lift weights is a, is a nothing nothing bad with that but if it, it's actually very good but you got to also relax and when we are always in a stress response throughout the day we always hold tension muscular tension that is not needed so it's very important to cultivate relaxation, to cultivate, to understand how to move the body in a relaxed manner, in a truly relaxed manner. And then the chi flows much better with a lot of breathing. Yeah? So this really nourish your energy and improve your, your, um, your immune system, your immune response, your resilience. So, um, so I would say... The second principle is is connecting with the heart. Focus on gratitude, doing things that you love, not listening to the news so much. It's good to get idea of what's going on around the world, but it's better to um, not dive into the panic and to the stress and really keep yourself above the water and look for um, for things that you love to do, place that you are, uh, people that you love to talk to or connect with. So this is... Uh, this would be uh, the second principle is more energetic principle. <laughs> now the, th the third one would be also energetic and would be any negativity that you feel that you acquired to drop, drop it to the ground. To literally drop it not onto the ground but deep into the earth. So let's do a little meditation around that if you will. <laughs> just, uh, just close your eyes if you will, and just think about or bring up a situation when you felt negative energy, either anger or sadness or stress, whatever it is. Now feel wherever it is in the body. How do you know how the body feels that emotion? Or that thoughts, how it portrays as a kinesthetic sensation, and even if you don't have direct experience to how I feel it in the body, it's just a concept or a thought. I don't feel it. You can tell me, "Hey, I don't feel it in the body at all." That's fine. So if you don't feel it in the body at all, what you're gonna do, or if you feel it in the body, then release that energy from the body into the earth, just with your mind, like you're taking that area and you bring it to the earth, but not to the gr to the floor, but deep, like. 100 feet down into the earth now if you tell me hey i don't feel it in the body anywhere it's just a concept that i have in my mind well that's fine then take it from the brain inhale to the brain and exhale that thoughts into the earth so from the brain go deep 100 feet into the earth so it's like you're going in your mind it's like you're looking into the earth yeah with eyes closed putting your mind deep into the earth yeah, inhale to the brain, exhale to the earth. Or to anywhere in the body that you need to release that tension or pain. And just inhale to this area, love, love and light. And exhale, guide that energy down into the earth. You can do it while driving, but don't close your eyes. You can do it any time you feel negative energy. Just release it to the earth. Now, there's a lot of study about grounding and about earth energy and how this... And if you notice, that made you very calm right now. Because when you put your mind deep into the earth, the heart is... The, it's actually checked. Yeah, we, we did studies on that. When you think about the earth deep inside, the heart starts to... The rhythm of the heart starts to change 
and become more coherent. So that release stress. When you release stress, you start to breathe deeper. When you breathe deeper, you get more oxygen. When you're more, more calm, you release muscular tension. You release muscular tension, the tension in the body doesn't take the oxygen that is required. Yeah, so these are three principles that I wanted to share with you and I want to give to the online community and to my students of how to improve your own energy and how to boost your immune system. And if you do this regularly, just take, let's say, take three days and do these three exercises. So the breathing techniques twice a day, the love, gratitude, whenever you can think about, always plan something in the day that you really love doing. Not because you have to do it, but you love to do it. You just want to do it right now. Not doing it for anybody else, just for you, because you love, this is what you want to do. Take a hot shower. I don't know, do something that you really like. <clears throat> walk your dog. Or don't walk your dog. Do something that you really love. And when you do that something that you really love, connect with the love in your heart. Connect with the love in the universe. See that this is something that you do to yourself. And acknowledge that, amplify that, that situation of, of self-nourishment. <clears throat> and then the third one is grounding whenever you're feeling stress coming along, whenever you have a person that you're talking with and there's some negative situation going on, drop that energy to the ground. Yeah, and you can do this as a meditation or you can do it while still being open eyes, things like that. So these are three principles. <coughs> if you want to learn more, just click down below and there's a whole sequence of boosting your immune system that has acupressure points uh, that are checked for thousands of years, yeah, information that have been for thousands of years, how to boost, how to open the lungs even deeper, how to flush the lymphatic system, yeah, how to, uh, to, to, to boost Im immunity, uh, movement, specific movement in Chinese medicine that have geared towards opening the lungs, releasing stress from areas where the breath is, is contracted. And I hope to see you um, online again and, and in my classes and in more workshops that I'm doing and learn how to self-heal, nourish yourself. Uh, see you.